Hello my friends and welcome to monthlies. This is going from July 23rd to August 22nd. And just quick note, thank you everybody for helping, sharing, subscribing, liking. I appreciate a lot. 10,000 is a really, really cool thing to be at just in less than five months. So quick announcement. We only have one special this month, which is your expert. So if you want it, check it on my website. Love you. Hello, my Scorpio friends. How are you? I hope you had a good month. I was really exciting reading for you last month because you're finally getting out of the cocoon and becoming who you can be. And I'm so glad that after months of struggle, you're like back on your path. So today I'm doing a little bit different. It's going to be a few uh, new introductions. So this is basically how my fly on the wall reading looks like. So if you want one, check my website. So I did um, draw a few oracle cards and I shuffle everything before I started just to minimize uh, the length of this reading. So I was actually really, really excited to see what came out. Check it out. Shaman. It says ancient healing wisdom and you guys can certainly certainly use some healing then lightning power see guys this is you and you are getting this charge and dragonfly emergence so let me start with shaman the very first card when i got this deck was this one because whenever I get a new deck of cards, I ask the deck if we will get along. And if we do, I proceed with the deck. Otherwise it's stored and it's just given away. It kind of sucks sometimes you really find a good deck. This deck liked me. And this was the first card that I got for myself. I was really, really excited. So what do we see here, right? We see this ancient healing wisdom. And look at this compassionate eyes that are looking at you, almost don't look human. It is somebody who has seen visions, I guess spirits, suffering, but also joy and somebody who knows that this is all a part of life and there is actually a spirit that exists. Shaman is somebody who is able to travel beyond the ordinary reality. It is certainly someone uh, whose primary assignment is to basically discern and maintain the balance between what basically human community wants and takes from the natural world and also what needs to be given back. So when this relationship becomes out of balance, shaman must do whatever is necessary to restore it, right? Balance equals healing. So I do this energy healing as well. So when I saw this card, I was like almost honored. So this person lives life in ceremony and treats basically everything with reverence, including the great mystery of death. And guess who reigns the death? You guys. So he works with spirit helpers, including the ancestor spirits and let's not make it overly sophisticated overly fluffy your dna is your ancestral spirit whatever you see your arms your legs this is what you brought from many many centuries to be present right now right here so this is talking to me that all illnesses no matter if those illnesses are physical emotional or psychological stem from illness of a spirit there is imbalance in your energy so this can be for several reasons it could be for because of soul loss it could be psychic intrusions it can be your ancestral karma or they call it inheritable diseases 
or any other spiritual causes. Negativity is also something that kind of erodes who you really are. And it's really, really hard to avoid negativity, let me tell you. Give it a try for one week and let me know if you can. And if you can, I, I bow to you. So, Shaman is saying that whatever other methodologies or remedies that you pursue, whether you're like going uh, on a path of your healing through allopathic or alternative or a combination of it, it is just asking you to put the healing of your spirit a priority. Get in balance. So know that the deepest spiritual wound is the illusion of being separate from the others. You're not better, you're not worse, and you're not the same. You are you. You are very, very unique. When shaman card comes out, this is a time for deep healing. It's starting with your relationship with you and with this energy around you. So this is a time when you have to be kind, not only to everybody else around you, but to you. So my advice here is to see yourself as healed, whole, and complete, and you will be. So I think this is just the leftover of all these months that we've been looking into some kind of damage because you guys were holding on. You didn't want to let go. You didn't want to trust me. And you maybe really thought you would win karma. But karma always wins. And karma also rewards. And this is your time. And look at this. You are getting the second card, this power. Isn't this feeling energizing just to look at it? Because when I see thunder, of course, I like to see it from indoors, but I just love to watch it. And I like to hear the sound that is coming and the shorter and shorter intervals in between the light and sound, knowing it's coming closer and closer. So we naturally usually seek shelter from the storms and or we are grateful like me that we are already sheltered so when we see this kind of demonstration of power when we witness this nature like then we open our hearts we open our minds and we are not looking at this as either constructive or destructive it just simply is so you guys are basically getting reborn you're transforming that the death card that represents you something ended but something better is being born here so this is telling me this power card that the power is available to you and you will actually understand that you don't have to position things as good or bad you don't have to put a label you don't have to say whatever you've been through it has been a struggle right now you are getting above this you are this power you actually are the standard that puts this water and emotions in motion so what is required here is your awareness right you have to focus on whatever it is the issue right now in your life and be careful that although you may see a newfound powers as using that for good do not allow yourself to be caught in the duality of good and bad that means do not even consider creating something that's going to put anybody down. Every decision that you make, and that's what they say, power corrupts. And the absolute power corrupts absolutely. You are given something really, really, really special. Just use it. This is the divine power. So for this month, you guys, you're gods. And then dragonfly. So you see healing understanding who you really are and guess what's happening here check this card how much do you guys know about dragonfly do you know that it doesn't have the regular kind of path like most of these bugs and i cannot even say this word without safi showing up from somewhere so this is kind of like a little kind of egg that is laid upon a floating plant or it's just simply dropped in the water and this is like where it just stays and hatches and it actually can be there for up to four years i think it's called um, uh, nymph 
yeah, larva is called nymph. And that nymph is basically something that happens, uh, a precursor to the dragonfly, right? There is no uh, cocoon stage there. You are just directly moving from egg to nymph and then to dragonfly. So at some point, that nymph is going to climb onto the rock and or leaf, and there is going to be that emergence from that former body. And all of a sudden, you're going to see the shape and character of, of this dragonfly. And this is so radiant when you see, you know, the dragonflies becoming who they really, really are. <coughs> so you guys are definitely in an intense process of emergence into this next cycle of your life. You have transformed already. You're not transforming this month. This happened and it kind of was painful, just like birth. But remember that after birth, something new starts. So this is who you are, dragonfly. And all of a sudden you're going to see the new happening rapidly. You might even not have time for any contemplation. You have no time for indecision. You have to keep moving and keep moving forward, right? So just remember that you're going to have a lots of these waves coming up. Emotions. You have to just simply be a soldier and a sailor and just get through it. Life is right now demanding you from you that you move into this next stage of maturity, right? You're no longer a nymph. You're now a dragonfly. So this requires you to adjust the thinking about yourself, about the others, and also about the entire community and your family. And also don't forget your tarot community as well. It does call you to shed another layer of your ego. Ego is your worst enemy this month, guys, in order to lift up. Ego is the thing that's going to keep you down in the water. Let go. Just treat everybody like a species that you saw somewhere else, on some other planet, and be intrigued. Don't put a label on brown hair, blue eyes, brown eyes. Just look at things completely differently. Try to see what these things would be if you were just newborn and nobody told you that the flower is called flower and just looking something gorgeous opening in front of you. So right now, your consciousness is opening, guys. You are becoming this god and this goddess. And it's kind of inevitable. You can try to resist, but you won't succeed. You're moving to the next stage of your life, guys. And what is that next stage going to be? Check this out. Possibilities. I love this Zen Oracle deck. It is so beautiful. This is in a regular deck. You would see this guy standing on the ledge, watching down and wondering what kind of world he or she wants to create. Here we have an ego, right? And this card is called possibilities. So this ego has an overview of all the possibilities that are in this landscape below. Imagine how it must be to be an eagle. You're like, you have all the power. You see all this perspective. You see it way different than we do. And Scorpio, your sign is connected to Phoenix. So as well, this eagle can be Phoenix. It is you. So this card indicates that you're at a point where a world of possibilities open to you. So you have grown more loving toward yourself you're more self-contained and you can work more easily with others. It is like when you're becoming this relaxed and at ease, not only that you recognize possibilities, but good opportunities and good possibilities are coming to you as well. So enjoy the flight and celebrate. Celebrate all the wonders that you might encounter, all these landscapes, new things the sun is raising. You guys have actually unlimited potential this month. Just soar. So that was interesting because I think this is setting the stage for the rest of the reading. And I usually did it in the end, but the reason why I figured let me do it in the start, I wanted to see, and you can see yourself, how 
in tarot and in basically card readings things make really sense no matter which kind of deck you take so okay i have shuffled the cards and <laughs> guess what is on the bottom of this deck free yourself it is time to take back control of your life check this unicorn isn't this a gorgeous creature so guess what's the worst thing it's to have this creature stuck in a fence for somebody else's enjoyment not you guys you are going to free yourself and i have already picked this deck as well and guess what's on the bottom another eagle oh mind you this is an eagle owl somebody corrected me and yes it is special kind of combination of the two it is reversed so it might be lots of things coming out because the healing still has to happen this is knight of swords knight of swords is spirit like swords are the highest and cups and water are the deepest so this is where you're getting this power right this tells me that you will resist some of you will resist but this also tells me that things will come in down so fast that you will really have to handle a lot this month so let me start the first card you have here is hmm, engagement then soulmate then make the effort huh, release your ex honeymoon heart to heart conversations chemistry romantic feelings new love and wedding wow soulmate honeymoon wedding and yet you need to free yourself so it kind of does make sense right maybe you guys in a situation that is really not desirable or you're still kind of like getting out of the situation and you're ready oh, ho, ho, ho. look at what's the first card it will be you guys that death right you are transforming oh my god oh my gosh two of pentacles and five of cups the wheel the first karma card then we have four of wands reversed seven of cups reversed six of swords judgment second karma card magician and the hierophant so let me see one two three four five major arcanas so there are ten cards you have five major arcanas major arcanas are destiny and you have on top of that two out of four um, karmic cards so let me just jump into it so this is basically your past here release your ex the time has come to clear your energy and then the wheel tides are turning in your favor yes it was this lightning it was a storm and you have to leave something behind you this card has like a ritual that has been attached to it and remember you have shaman over here shaman is also asking for a ritual this one in particular is asking that during the full moon so you have to check when is the next full moon happening you literally write down or you can write it down now and prepare yourself everything that you want to let go of this doesn't have to be your very last partner it can be everything anything that kind of bothered you anything that you're still keeping inside anything that is still kind of eating your life anything that is still creating anxiety write this down this is like basically emotional bankruptcy that you guys are declaring you're clearing and cleaning that slate write it down when the full moon comes because during full moon we are getting rid of stuff burn it and it's going to turn the tide in your favor there is the crossroad that happens with this 
and you see there is like still not full engagement like one of ones is basically timing of an issue but since this is in the past and you had a 10 this something already maybe happened maybe some of you already released your ex but you're in the last phases there is this crossroad you're standing right in front of this crossroad because seven of pentacles talks about where do I go? Like you see, he has the feather, he has the flower, like all these elements, water, fire, air, they're here. Investment has been made into something, but that investment made into something didn't pan out because it didn't grow. It did put some roots in there, but it is rotting out. So that's why it is time to release things that didn't work or that it's just like for some reason they are like really not the right time for this to happen so here you or some of you are still making an effort great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take but the effort is ending up in tears this effort is looking back to things that you really loved and you spilled the milk it is like sadness you see it's looking at this like vast body of water this is your emotion and you feel like why did I invest so much in all of it remember you see these two cups they're standing this is your zero lining guys you have to heal you have to call upon your own power turn around and look into things that you still have oh the high priestess reversed okay the high priestess is like a psychic power it is like understanding things before they happen you guys do have those abilities mind you this is telling me that you are not able to tap into them as long as you do not turn around because like you see two cups are left and she is a number two but she's also number 11 in arabic numbers if you really look how to read it because you see how they are supposed to have this like a roman numeral here i'm going to try to bring it closer that's why I love this deck but do you see this is really 11 this is how Arabic numbers are with this little kind of strike on the top so 11 is a power of intuition 11 is a very kind of ability to feel things inside you don't necessarily tell people about the knowledge that you have because knowledge is power and this is telling me that you guys have to turn around because then this turns around. You're like then healing. This is that healing that we were told about. That's right. You, some of you still feel on the bottom. Some of you still feel backstabbed. But frankly, some of you almost enjoy being there because you're Scorpio. You like this extremes. So guys, don't let me and get you there. Get up. It is time to get up. This card is saying the worst is over. It's gone. So please turn this around and make the effort to heal yourself and reclaim your own power. And you know what, you guys? You can do it. So here we are. This is the starting point this month. It says engagement. Your love life it is ascending to a high level of commitment. And then this is your card. This is your card of transformation, right? So Scorpio, looks like you had to let something go. You have to heal yourself to claim your power. But then you are like already moving into this new direction. This is that card of transformation. This is this card of change. Because really, as you probably know better than any other sign, nothing remains the same. And you really have to accept the things revolve all the time of course we want to keep the good stuff and we don't want to have bad stuff but life gives us both so here you're basically really really again not being cold but being told to engage yourself and transform you are juggling these two realities i'm going to clarify this as well but this is like what just jumped at me because you are holding on to something this is 
trying to see how do you keep it you are so stubborn some of you this person that you feel is your soulmate and you are not letting go you see it's saying yeah you know that you need to transform but you're standing still the hangman means trying to look from a different perspective but also really doing nothing really just watching how things will revolve and there it is you're meeting somebody new or you are having somebody new there is this new love and this high priestess that has to turn around is basically connected to the moon as you can see she has the moon under her feet and that moon is like that ability to kind of connect to that very mysterious energy that is coming out here so how do you guys plan to get there if you do not transform so i'm telling you love is there for you but if you don't let it go you're not going to get there so it's going to be let it go wondering why you're letting go it's going to be really hard for you because scorpio is like ah, i need to have it right then it's going to be a phase of look you have like two majors over here phase of like oh gosh i don't know what to do you see the kitty kitty is stuck and i don't know where is the next thing this is like my safi in the morning if i do not get up when she wants me to she climbs up my silk curtains and of course i jumped immediately because otherwise it's going to be spaghetti curtain you guys are getting so late so this is a two this would be a choice that is like that mystery that is coming out so this is a two and two connected you have a third two do you really need more signs there are only four minor arcanas and one major arcana too queen of wands yeah you see you have to let go of something something you felt was your soulmate but it what he or she wasn't it was like all very superficial some of you the empress well okay it is a little bit different perspective right now you guys will possibly have somebody new but at the same time you're holding on to this person especially for those of you who had a child with this person because the empress and basically the high priestess are mother and a child emotional physical engagement with the world you see this kitty cats going around coming basically to her own crown and it's a full understanding but you know what are you holding on to queen of wands reverse here tells me you you are just keeping some superficial or somebody's here very superficial in how the things are perceived maybe there is attraction maybe this person is like really really highly you know uh, it's gorgeous it's maybe beautiful it's maybe energetic and this kind of like really appeals to you and and the problem is like you're getting stuck these energies are these energies of this nymph do you really want to be another four years in the water because that's exactly what's happening here you're going down back in the water you just have to ask yourself do you really want to fly or do you want to sink because right now you're given this opportunity so this is what is crowning you <laughs> if you move forward it's the next stage with someone honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and this also is a next stage four of wands is one of those rare cards that has almost the same meanings up or down as you can see it is kind of like that bliss it to me always talks about the next phase where you know maybe you were just talking to someone and all of a sudden somebody asks you out on a date or you ask them or you have been dating and now you're deciding to really really take a good shot at it and maybe you see life with this person maybe some of you are getting engaged engaged or married maybe some of you are moving in but you're maybe falling into the same hole with maybe looking at things in too kind of rosy glassy kind of thing i wrote for myself last weekend that i have to write a book i'm going to call it uh, a fairy tale syndrome 
but my um, autocorrect corrected it instead of fairy tale with my accent it was like fairy tale like a cat tail so I think that's what's going to be the title but you guys are coming new love is coming name of chalices new love is offered to you huh new love but this is like something coming back eight of cups maybe you walked away from something and something is coming back or maybe you're finding really what is important hmm. we're going to see it you cannot be releasing your ex and moving forward unless this is the same person or unless we have two people that maybe you are juggling because I see the heart of one here in the end. So let's see. There is this heart to heart conversation. Heart to heart conversation is always asking to, to really kind of let go deep down. You guys are capable of doing this. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. But then the feelings are going to be about that kind of honeymoon stage. It's kind of like lofty dreams. And this is great, but we are not five anymore. We do know that right now, most likely in the next year, you're not going to be flying to the moon. Maybe in your head, but not physically. So this is telling me that somebody might be living in a dreamland. So yeah, this is all great. But to go day to day, you have to have very pragmatic attitude. Wow, another karma card. Is that the third one? Yeah, that's the third one. We just need a uh, Ace of Swords to have basically full deck so things will have to come in balance things will have to become pragmatic this actually for some of you can mean dealing with legal issues hmm. there's some kind of rules uh, there are some kind of secrets being revealed and opened and you will have to follow some rules things are coming in balance this is that power but it's good. If you're going from 11, you're going to 10 or 1. Like you're lifting up. See, now you're having this emergence. This is like, this is that dragonfly. This is that kind of like a new hope. Something is coming back to balance. Maybe it is you who are grounding yourself and saying, okay, you know what? Maybe this person after all was not what I thought he or she was. Maybe, you know, I have lost myself and I have to regain myself. Maybe I'm going to take a few of these dreams and make them workable because I was carrying my energy. Whenever I see the justice, because it's a karma card, it's also saying that you have to be very, very cautious about what you do. And I think this is pretty much where this fits, right? Because this karma is saying that you have to watch that you don't harm others and i think this is like what you had in your uh, oracle cards as well and you get it you guys do get it i'm so proud of you i think you're making a choice there could be two people or could be a choice between being with someone and not being with someone or being a choice between being alone or going forward and trusting relationships not playing poker with sweaty palms anymore you see there is a strong magnetic attraction with someone and it is moving forward this is a spiritual journey swords are the highest of all the suits and they're m the most revered most people just cannot understand them because that requires living a life of high morality it requires taking a thought and not harming others so you have the highest obligation here if you're leaving that you take care first of all of yourself and then you have the obligation toward the others just like somebody else is helping you you have to help somebody else as well and then there is like this recharge you have this knight of wands all of a sudden like look this is like really really high energy these are your lightning you see here you have a fire and here you have the air and you have actually water which would be you so chemistry 
is fire, right? So you have a fire and you have the air and this is happening. Look at this like engagement that you guys have. The nine of cups. So things are turning around. You are finally happy. This is the wish card. Y make a wish, guys. Something is happening. Either you're resolving something, but it looks like you're resolving something and something else is starting at the same time. And then again, we have this, this is in your environment, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. You will be tempted to do something or to not react properly. Be very careful. You have been warned here. The judgment is to me always that rule of three. The three bad things happen when I see this around and you can expect three bad things coming at you. See, you have a king of chalices reversed. So... It could be emotional manipulation. It could be that this could be even you kind of being your own worst enemy. But this could be somebody telling you a story that sounds really good and you really, really want to buy it, right? It's like so many times we bought this like beautiful chocolate cake and then we tried it. It was like, ugh, <laughs> it just like was brown, but it just didn't feel right. So this is how this really wa will be. You see, there is like the star card, which is my favorite card. The healing is not taking place here. Or you are like closing down from the others. You know, this is not good. And I think this is what this card was suggesting. That things will be coming at you with a great speed. Because... Here you have the star, which is that communication and could be something stalling. But it's really more or less to me the card talking about, you know, um, just, you know, that ego thing that we were talking about, the shaman and releasing that ego. So here in this card, when you see the star, ego is really telling you that you're only part of this whole. You're like really, you, you have to look up right and and to look up it really requires that you understand you're part of everything you're not just one you can't exist as one one person didn't make you right so when this is this way it's kind of refusal to accept this kindness or maybe really believing in your own glory and you are going to hit the wall this month if you behave this way these two cards have to turn around they will turn around when you heal yourself and you reclaim your own power then you're coming to be yourself you are like lifting things from the past one more time just to leave them in the past so this is that releasing your ex or the past and you are healing and moving forward communication kindness like i mean universal love so this is the critical category over here and then again Again, there is this lift off. So we have here a new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. <laughs> and you're wedding right after that. So you see, once when you get it, you're emerging. And there is nothing that will stop you. You might actually even meet and get married in the same month. Or you already know somebody. And this is going to be a fresh start. Because the magician is always a very spiritual connection. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, but sometimes, you know, we go through these cycles. And if you guys were not yourself, if you guys were holding on to something, your energy deteriorated, right? That's why this is asking for you to be healed, to reclaim your power and to re-emerge, right? Transformation here as well. There is the fourth karmic card and it's a one on a one. The new start. This, I cannot tell you how important it is, even though this card is not a major arcana, from all the minor arcanas, this is the very first card. So this is the gateway. All these energies, for, let's say from gods, are coming to humans through this gateway. And swords, uh, not being understood properly, are really, really powerful. But they also carry a huge lesson that you have to really conquer in order to kind of like move forward. So this card here uh, is the law of karma. You guys really, really, really watch this. Look at how many warnings you're getting. One, two, pretty much three in a row. 
So you're going to start seeing these transformations right now, something really, really fast. And you will expect quick results. You'll be getting information. There are certain things that will, the truth is some kind of coming out. Clearance, there is some kind of clarity. It's a one, it's a <laughs> two of ones. Check this out. This is this card. And it's coming to you in your also potential. So it came reversed over here. You do have to cut this off. You do have to realize that you have ability to emerge. This is what ones are. You need to get up, stop being in the water because there is like still holding back of these possibilities. You remember what is like that said, you have to let go. Something better is coming up. So you see here, He's looking into what else can I have. It's again that bird-eyed vision. It's just in a catch deck. And wedding and the hierophant. Something is getting official, guys. It's the situation was marriage. It can be marriage. It can be divorce. It can be renewing your vows. It can be going to the next stage because you had it right next to it, the honeymoon. And King of Swords, some kind of fairness, it could be some kind of decision. Well, again, the King of Swords is a lawyer, it almost has similar meaning to Hierophant. Only thing, Hierophant is like, I say so, and that's why the Hierophant is somebody uh, representing somebody in the church who you have to follow. It's kind of like religious factors kind of a card, and here is like more your conscience, what you're doing the right things, right? Yeah, you know what? something is being cut off this is released the x it's telling me because no this this is left behind you guys are moving forward you have like two people you have to shed one person in order for the new person come in and you are getting the soulmate coming through this soulmate actually could be somebody who who is married or somebody who has a child or somebody who will get pregnant so let me see which horoscope signs I see here for you. So I see Taurus, I see Libra, I see fire signs, in particular a Leo. Then of course I see you, another Scorpio. Sagittarius, a Leo, Libra again. Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, and Taurus again, and Aquarius again. So that's why I'm not telling you horoscope signs as I go along, because I don't want you to kind of like feel, oh, it's a Scorpio, and I'm not dealing with another Scorpio, so hence this doesn't apply on me. These are just generic energies. So if I say a Scorpio, this means somebody who is equally intense as you are. Okay, so this is part one so what i'm going to do next i'm going to take lenormand so 32 cards all 32 cards will go on the table in a grand tableau reading lenormands are talking about kind of situation so we're going to look at situation what is in front of you what you should kind of like watch for and certainly we want to see what is on this path of your shaman lighting and dragonfly so you can maybe get another kind of layers of the story or even to maybe get a completely different new read and Leatherman also can give you some kind of generic information so i don't want to waste your time so i'm going to just click in when i put all the cards on the table so see in a second all right guys so let's check it out so for those of you who have not seen my readings before first of all thank you for being here second of all please subscribe and like this video and let me just give you a really really quick intro we have two significators the lady and the gentleman in Lenormand and basically both of them can actually signify you or one can signify you and one can signify uh, a person that already exists in your life or the person that might be coming to your life it is kind of really interesting, uh, first of all, that both significators are at the end. So I really want to be able to tell you quite 
quite a bit about this because again it's karma you had four cards over there and you have the coffin which kind of would be you and and the cross karmic thing happening most likely connecting to your partner so there is the mountain between you and the partner and still some kind of secret something needs to be opened up it is relating to communication in like the letter and the birds and the tree it's all good there is like a sexual um attraction here there is going to be a meeting somewhere out in the open or there was a plan about that there are issues relating to your work there's still some issues that kind of are you a little bit foggy about you like i mean this is kind of also card of health you have those intervene snakes as well as the tree that is kind of hell card however maybe some of you have undertaken some kind of business like for the two last two months you are dealing with this but have run into a uh, lots of issues but generally what i see here there is something kind of happening long distance over here you have the ship the tower is also something making official the star is communication with somebody from the past and then here you have something official could be happening or something connected to your work you have some of you have recently gone through a lot and that's what we see we see this cross we see the mountain we see the snakes and kind of betrayal but ultimately i can see this power i can see this emergence because look you guys are moving i can just give you a generic flavor what you are moving into because i literally cannot read the upcoming months here but i can tell you the situation for this month it's kind of visible it's going to be paperwork is going to be official maybe you're going to get promoted at work maybe you know uh, it's going to be that heart to heart conversation but also some of you who start or maybe who have your own business that's going to basically shine a lots of light on it like you have the heart the house the sun and the fish really really, really good mix because this is that cross card a karma card looks like a lots of things for you will be swirling this month you're regaining your power i think you guys get activated when you start doing things and there'll be some kind of gatherings happening something with possibly the person from the past is going to make you very very happy but also at the same time there will be some new developments at your work and you might be traveling and the lilies is somebody from the past it could be somebody with a gray hair going to be lots of electronic communication like texts mostly i see over here so the next thing is going to be similar to this it's going to be gypsy gypsy basically has 52 cards we are also going to see this grand tableau this you can only see here this is too hard uh, to actually do a general reading so i'm going to give it a try gypsy is more emotional this one was more situational as you can see and here we are going to have a uh, lots of significators we are going to have married uh, mother uh, kind of single enemies so it's going to be revealing much much more so i'll be back with you in another second all right guys so this is the gypsy part so let's see what we have here as I told you, we have actually quite a few significators here. So let me show you where they are positioned. Uh, so I think we have the lover. The lover, uh, first of all, I guess just forget about the gender. Any one of them can be you. Uh, the other ones can represent people in your life, your significant other, your family, your friends, your exes, etc. So the lover generally, uh, traditionally signifies a male, a single male, or somebody, you know, still looking around for a partner. The Lord here talks about somebody established. Here, let me see if we can just lift it up a little bit. There. Somebody established, it could be a married guy, somebody who um, could be a professional as well. Then the sweetheart would be um, 
single ladies or you know somebody who is looking you know like i mean to date or try to find somebody then we have the wife over here over here the wife uh, is either a married woman or a serious relationship or, or or a person with the kids right then we have a young woman so it could be for you young scorpios it could be a friend which could be your friend as well so here is your death card coming the very last one in a corner significant then we have foe which could be a female enemy or a rival and where is another one where is the male enemy and there is like a male enemy or a rival so there is sort of like uh, I usually for the general readings only look at things upright but I just left a few things reversed that came out reversed because it tells me exactly what's happening so all right so I'll give you a whole bunch of storylines here and you guys figure out which one is yours because this is really emotional this is not 2d fruity kind of spiritual thing like tarot this is not you know like your ship will arrive this is literally like we're going down to emotions feelings <coughs> therapy etc so all right, so let's go with, again, look at the single ladies. You are again at the very end. For some reason, this death, this transformation is calling for a transformation. You guys, you need to transform. You need to emerge. You need to claim your power. Absolutely, three out of three things are telling me this. So, or four out of things. It is time for the new possibilities. And it's like, no wonder this is the very last card over here. Look, it's asking you. Look, you have the dragonfly here. And look, it's asking you. It's called free will. I don't know why. This is kind of like lightness in the other, other decks. So look, it's also lightness. Get up and kind of move on. And this is kind of interesting. Let me just take this whole row to show you. There is love, then you have foe, sweetheart, lightness, and death. This is like so you, Scorpio, everything. There is going to be the emergence, possibly, of an ex guy, guys, or somebody who maybe was hidden in your life. Somebody maybe who shunned you. And maybe it's going to feel like a new start, but it's not going to end anywhere else for those of you scorpio who are looking for somebody new you are maybe still having feelings for a, a past partner over here and it's asking for you to go through this transformation there is like still some kind of level of jealousy and there is sorrow looks like there are some of you going through counseling you have an old woman here sitting in the room and you are going through the range of emotions from feeling uh, aggressive to feeling depressive jealous uh, and feeling deep sadness it looks to me that this person who, who you're like really still uh, having in mind was somebody who was your friend with whom you actually really had a good time maybe there were kids involved over here but it was something that happened some kind of misfortune that happened it was july june may april march april march april things were happening but you really didn't find them until may so this reunion actually did come reversed but i did take a note of it because it's right next to misfortune over here so one side of the story is like some of you really need to re-emerge this is absolutely everywhere asking and i know this sounds really really kind of fluffy because you want me to say to you well i'm going to get back with this person or i'm going to meet somebody else the truth is you have to go to scorpio 2.0 and if you meet somebody right now you you're going to be something completely different you're not going to be this larva you're not going to be this nymph you're going to be a dragonfly so like you don't want to date another larva or another nymph if you become a dragonfly so i think this is all that is saying this is not saying you're not going to go back with this person because this person is right here there is a love 
this person has love for you this person does want to be intimate with you this person does miss you but you need to be better than you are this is really important on this end so as far as the significant the lord which could be one of you in a relationship there's lots of thinking happening and again here we also have healing it could have been some kind of secrets about a third party coming up you know it's kind of the ex is this ex coming in or out and hope for this kind of joyfulness but at the same time kind of like is there something else going on here and this road again leads to this that the re-emergency something has to stop in order for something else to be born this is something else that's going to serve a purpose because the path you're on was not a good path here for some of you that have been in a marriage are divorcing see the prison here reversed that's why i left it and the dog reversed so it was the end of this loyalty something felt really false and the widower is here something is placed to rest and you are like over it to a point that the life is moving on and you're waiting for something see and the money was also reversed so that also talks about some kind of secrets it could be that some of you maybe had a settlement that somebody hid certain things about that or maybe you don't even know about that here is telling me that look you have the fortune on this side at present but then there is a misfortune happening over here so it could be also if you're inquiring for somebody with children see because here again i see this person with child and a wedding so there is a gift on one side and there is like this money reversed on the other side and then the conversation so again this is what i saw in tarot very confusing when you look at it unless you kind of realize that the only thing that makes sense is that maybe they're two different people so with one person things are ending and maybe they ended already because this is wedding is in the past something that worked before a child means that something that existed in the past that maybe was started in the past is coming to the surface right now and it's having a kind of mixed flavor fortune is really good of course to have and the um, haughtiness reversed it's like somebody who is too much ego driven too much into that kind of thing so it's asking for you to kind of like put an end to it that's why the death is here this is going to be conversation and here again you have somebody else coming to your life another storyline that is possible over here is like that you guys did put something to rest and that you're going to meet somebody who is maybe just getting divorced who is maybe just going through their own ordeals who maybe is basically uh, you know uh, who has been burned and who actually wants to start doing something fresh constancy is like something doing step by step by step somebody who kind of like maybe also have been uh, involved with in this kind of three party see there is this counseling uh, that is like kind of key for all these figures i have a doctor over here i have a malady over here right next to him right then i have this old woman right next to so each one of you are going to do this shaman thing it is like a really clear message so the power is something happening so like there is significance of this misfortune and something is going to strike that is going to kind of like redefine the deal so this is the deal about this reunion something has to end before it has to start going again so let's say if the house burns down it's a horrible thing right so you're shocked you have no place to live but then you insure this home and now a completely brand new home will be rebuilt so you see that's what this transformation is calling for that something will happen so this is this misfortune here is like the power it's you see there are like two sides of the same coin something will be happening something really really strong and significant that's going to propel you to the next level it's going to teach you to learn how to be the friend to yourself and to the others i actually do see every single one having 
unbelievable surroundings right so it's a plus and minus so it's like literally you are that phoenix i don't know you're not a dragonfly right now let's call you a phoenix you guys are you're lifting up you you're going somewhere else and i i really want to hear from you what's going on because this is a really good reading and it's like a birth it's not going to be easy it's kind of hard but like when you're going through it you're not thinking about the pain you're just thinking about what's going to be happening so this is that new thing emerging so scorpio as you have seen like this first kind of setting the stage with these cards was really significant you are right now opening possibilities you are going in a completely different uh, direction you are seeing this completely new place and i have also taken three more cards from the other deck that to seal this reading and i actually wanted one but three wanted to jump out and it was really amazing so i'm going to read it to you first one is goblins then it's coming to life and then <laughs> follow the leader which was the higher fun that you had in your tarot reading so everything kind of starts to make sense so goblins keep in mind is that card keep in mind the shaman card when i read this to you it says fear is an illusion choose love today forgive yourself and others goblins are born when you're bounded it's something essential is lost in that experience from that point on, as you experience your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There, they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If Goblin Cart pays you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's and that they are leading you into a potentially reactive situation. All right. A Goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth. However, it's also a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of negativity. I think that makes a lot of sense. Putting everything together, literally this is why nothing really wants to say what's next. Because what next, what is next depends on you. Are you going to lift up, shed your old skin or no? But it looks like you will because one, you got 29 cards. Remember we had this high priestess that was explaining you the significance of a number 11 because 29 is 11. And here is saying coming to life. 11 is like that psychic connection, ability to kind of like open that extra world. And it says here, something beautiful is being born in your life. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown, evolved, and evolved over time? Perhaps <laughs> you have shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time, and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. The card indicates that the long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now it is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is to show up. And then <laughs> follow the leader. <laughs> Honestly, whenever I see or hear this, I, I have to start to laugh. So be careful who is the leader, right? It says, every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are example to those around you. 
You're now being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery in the adventure of your life. The experiences of battles won and lost, places discovered, tears shed, and joy revealed have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. Your suffering has been crystallized into talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it. By being fully authentic, you lead others into the light. You'll be required to divulge some things about your past so that you may help someone else. Lead with love. There's another message here as well. Look to those whose great character and accomplishments you admire. Emulate the leaders you respect. You will then in turn have more to offer. You guys emerge. This is such an amazing story that I'm seeing over here. Yeah, you guys are coming to life. The king is dead. Long live the king. Scorpio, please give me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And I wish you a wonderful month. So please subscribe, like, and share. And if you want a private reading with me, so now you know how one hour reading looks like, let me know. I love you. I look forward to talking to you.